so hi everyone and a very good morning to all of you welcome back once again to another class of pib 247 in today's class we'll be talking about the pib news from 1st to 3rd of june 2023 and i hope the preparations of the upcoming rbi grade b examinations are going well what you have to do in the upcoming 30 days uh, has been explained by anuj sir in a video so you guys can watch that video to have an idea what you guys can do in the upcoming 30 35 days all right so let's start with the class without any delay but uh, yeah let's talk about the very first question okay how many industrial corridors how many one second yeah how many industrial corridors have been sanctioned under national industrial corridor development program very very important question it's it, it is uh, it has been in news for a long time काफी दो तीन महीनों से ये न्यूज में बार बार आ रही है ये न्यूज सो दे कैन आस्क यू क्वेश्चन रिगार्डिंग नेशनल इंडस्ट्रियल कॉरिडोर प्रोग्राम बट दिस टाइम वाई इट इज इन न्यूज बिकॉज बिकॉज यूनियन फाइनेंस मिनिस्टर निर्मला सीतारमन हैज शेयर द सेकेंड मीटिंग ऑफ एपेक्स मॉनिटरिंग अथॉरिटी ऑफ नेशनल इंडस्ट्रियल कॉरिडोर डेवलपमेंट एंड इम्प्लीमेंटेशन ट्रस्ट नाउ दिस ट्रस्ट इज इम्प्लीमेंटिंग द नेशनल इंडस्ट्रियल कॉरिडोर डेवलपमेंट प्रोग्राम एंड दिस मॉनिटरिंग अथॉरिटी दिस मॉनिटरिंग अथॉरिटी हैज बिन कॉन्स्टिट्यूटेड actually it was constituted uh, to review the progress of this particular trust during this meeting they coined a term fire corridors fire corridors which stands for freed industrial railways and expressways you should remember this because yahan se bhi question ban sakta hai now talking about the industrial corridor development program so as the name says the objective of this program is to establish a network of industrial corridors which will serve as an engine of economic growth it will promote industrialization it will promote globalization and it will also create employment opportunities this program seeks to develop green field industrial cities in the country in order to compete with the best manufacturing and investment destinations across the world all right now the implementing agency i already told you it is national industrial corridor development and implementation trust and these are the 11 industrial corridors which have been approved till date and delhi mumbai industrial corridor is the first one to be implemented all right now talking about this apex monitoring authority so it is chaired by the finance minister but there are members from various other ministries as well like minister in charge of minister of commerce and industry minister of railways minister of uh, trans road transport and highway shipping vice chairperson niti aayog and chief ministers of states concerned all right so that is all about this news guys i hope this is clear and how many industrial corridors have been sanctioned so 11 option a is the correct answer let's move ahead to question number 2 which citizen centric mobile app has been launched by ministry of road transport and highways headed by nitin gadkari his lok sabha constituency is nagpur the city of oranges uh, with inbuilt compliant redressal system so actually two apps has been uh, have been launched by the ministry of road transport and highway one is राजमार्ग यात्रा एंड वन इज एन एच आई वन राइट नेशनल हाईवे अथॉरिटी ऑफ इंडिया सो राजमार्ग यात्रा टॉकिंग अबाउट दिस एप सो इट इज अटीजन सेंट्रिक मोबाइल एप विद इन बिल्ट कंप्लाइंट रिड्रेसल कंप्लेट रिड्रेसल सिस्टम इट विल हेल्प हाईवे यूजर्स अक्रॉस द कंट्री इन प्रोवाइडिंग हाईवे इंफॉर्मेशन एंड अदर इंफो एंड अदर सर्विस रिलेटेड टू देयर जर्नी राइट नाउ टॉकिंग अबाउट अनादर एप दैट इज एन एच आई वन सो दिस एप विल फेसिलिटेट most of the crucial site requirements in execution of the national highway project so whatever requirements are there in the at the project site so all those requirements will be facilitated through this app and of course both these app have been developed by nhai nhai chairperson is mr santosh kumar yadav santosh kumar yadav is the chairperson of nhai now during this uh, launch jab ye launch hua tha app so two things two uh, one report and one book was also launched so report the first uh, nhis first sustainability report for financial year 21 22 was released which represents the nice governance structure nature of its operation its stakeholders its esr activities and this book road development in india book it was also launched which captures the history of building the national highway network in the country all right so that is all about this and which app is this this app is raj marg yatra option d is the correct answer all right so now let's talk about question number 3 again an important question ministry of electronics and it headed by ashwini vaishnav has invited applications for incentives under pli 2.0 for it hardware right it hardware it aims at enhancing india's manufacturing capabilities and enhancing exports 
वट इज दजटरी आउट ऑफ दिस स्कीम इंपॉर्टेंट न्यूज है एग्जाम में चांसेस है आने के राइट सो द न्यूज इज दिस ओनली द मिनिस्ट्री ऑफ इलेक्ट्रॉनिक्स एंड आई टी हैज इन्वाइटेड दी एप्लीकेशन फॉर गिविंग इंसेंटिव अंडर पी एल आई टू पॉइंट टू फॉर आई टी हार्डवेयर एंड दिस स्कीम इज बींग इम्प्लीमेंटेड फॉर एनहेंसिंग इंडिया मैनुफैक्चरिंग कैपेबिलिटीज एंड एनहेंसिंग एक्सपोर्ट ऑफ द आई टी हार्डवेयर राइट इट विल प्रमोट लार्ज स्केल मैनुफैक्चरिंग ऑफ लैपटॉप टैबलेट ऑल इन वन पीसीज टर्वर्स एंड अल्ट्रा स्मॉल फॉर्म फैक्टर डिवाइस लाइक हमारे पास एक जो मिनी मैक होता है दैट इज कंसिडर्ड एज अल्ट्रा स्मॉल फॉर्म फैक्टर डिवाइस राइट एंड नाउ इट हैज ऑल्सो इंक्लूडेड सेमी कंडक्टर डिजाइन आई सी मैनुफैक्चरिंग एंड पैकेजिंग एज द इंसेंटिवाइज कॉम्पोनेट ठीक है द टोटल आउटले इज सेवेंटीन थाउजेंड करोर एंड देर आर थ्री कैटेगरीज ऑफ एप्लीकेंट्स अंडर दिस पर्टिकुलर स्कीम नंबर वन ग्लोबल कंपनीज नंबर वन हाइब्रिड कंपनीज विच कंजस्ट ऑफ बोथ स्टेक होल्डर्स फ्रॉम ग्लोबल विच कंजस्ट ऑफ बोथ कंपनीज ग्लोबल डोमेस्टिक एंड देन डोमेस्टिक कंपनीज ठीक है नाउ वट आर दी एक्सपेक्टेड बेनिफिट सो इट इज एक्सपेक्टेड दैट वर्थ थ्री पॉइंट थ्री फाइव लाख करोर ऑफ प्रोडक्शन विल बी डन ड्यूरिंग द इम्प्लीमेंटेशन पीरियड ऑफ दिस स्कीम एक्सपेक्टेड इन्वेस्टमेंट इज टू फोर थ्री जीरो करोर द स्कीम विल क्रिएट अराउंड सेवेंटी फाइव थाउजेंड एडिशनल एम्प्लॉयमेंट्स एंड द इलेक्ट्रॉनिक्स मैनुफैक्चरिंग टर्न ओवर विल गो अप टू थ्री हंड्रेड बिलियन डॉलर बाई द एंड ऑफ फाइनेंशियल ईयर टू थाउजेंड So that is all about this scheme, and uh, what is the budgetary outlay? Seventeen thousand crores. Option C is the correct answer. Question number four: When was the tele law program launched by the Ministry of Law and Justice to provide an effective and reliable interface platform to connect the needy and disadvantaged sections seeking legal advice and consultation with panel lawyers? Minister of Law and Justice earlier was Mr. Kiran Rijiju. He has been recently replaced by. बताओ नाम बताओ कैन यू टेल मी द नेम ऑफ द न्यू मिनिस्टर ऑफ लॉ एंड जस्टिस राइट डाउन इन द कमेंट सेक्शन सो दिस टेली लॉ प्रोग्राम इट इज इन न्यूज बिकॉज इट हैज अचीव अ न्यू माई स्टोन एंड नाउ इट हैज फोर्टी लाख बेनिफिशरीज अक्रॉस द कंट्री दिस प्रोग्राम वॉज लॉन्च इन दर टू थाउजेंड एंड सेवेंटीन टू प्रोवाइड कनेक्शन टू द नीडी एंड डिसएडवांटेज सेक्शन हु आर सीकिंग लीगल असिस्टेंस एंड दिस टेली लॉ प्रोग्राम कनेक्ट सच पीपल विद द पैनल लॉयर्स so that they can also have the access to the legal uh, legal advice all right it connects the needy and marginalized who are in the need of legal aid with panel lawyers via video conferencing or telephonic facilities which are available at common service centers jo ki panchayat level pe hote hain and it is also now directly accessible through the tele law mobile app which is available in both android and ios all right so that is all and uh, when it was launched it was launched in the year 2017 and that's why the correct answer is option e let's talk about question number 5 union cabinet has approved the constitution and empowerment of inter ministerial committee under the chairpersonship of minister of cooperation for facilitation of the world's largest grain storage plant and cooperative sector this facilitation will be achieved by convergence of various schemes of which of the following ministries theek hai ji so let's talk about it what is this world's largest grain storage plan so first of all uh, it is in news because the, the union cabinet has approved the constitution and empowerment of inter ministerial committee for facilitation of this plan now what is this plan so as the name suggests guys uh, this plan is for creating and modernizing infrastructure at the level of primary agriculture credit society pacs so that we can reduce the food grain wastage and how we can reduce the food grain wastage by creating sufficient storage capacity right and in this infrastructure various uh, type of infrastructure will be created like agri infrastructure uh, warehouse create honge custom hiring centers processing units etc so that we can reduce the food grain wastage right this plan has been formulated of course by the ministry of cooperation and please do not get confused with the ministry of agriculture and farmers welfare or the ministry of consumer affairs food and public distribution this plan has been formulated by ministry of cooperation theek hai ji now talking about this inter ministerial committee so it will be chaired by minister of cooperation which is currently headed by mr amit shah who is also the minister of home affairs but uh, the members from other ministries will also be there like ministry of agriculture and farmers welfare minister of consumer affairs food and public distribution minister of food processing industry and of course the secretaries of all these ministries all right the mandate of this committee will be to modify the guidelines or the implementation methodologies of the schemes 
of all these ministries within the approved outlays. All right, and this will be achieved by creation of infrastructure such as godowns, warehouse, customizing center, etc. Okay. Now this plan will be implemented by converging various uh, ministries schemes. So first of all, if I talk about the Ministry of Agriculture scheme, so these four schemes will be converged uh, to implement this plan. Number one is Agriculture Infrastructure Fund, Agriculture Marketing Infrastructure Scheme, Mission for Integrated Development of Horticulture and Submission on Agriculture Mechanization. Talking about the schemes from Ministry of Food Processing Industry, so PMFME, Pradhan Mantri Kisan Sampada Yojana. And from Ministry of Consumer Affairs, Food and Public Distribution, Allocation of food grains under NFSA and procurement operations at MSP schemes will be there. All right. So that is all about this plan. I hope this is clear. And which ministries are these? Ministry of Agriculture, Consumer Affairs, Food and Public Distribution and Food Processing Industry. So the correct answer will be 1, 3 and 5, option E. I hope this is clear. And now let's talk about question number 6. Consider the following statements about city investments to innovate, integrate and sustain 2.0, which in short is cities 2.0. Cities 1.0. Cities 1.0 was launched in the year 2018 and uh, with its success, now the Ministry of Housing and Urban Affairs has launched the second edition of cities program. All right. So the objective is to leverage and scale up the learnings and successes of cities 2.0. And this program is all about the climate climate uh, change ke liye hai, to make the cities uh, innovate and to make the cities you know you know cities ko innovative banane ke liye or sustainable banane ke liye, to make the cities innovative and sustainable all right it has been conceived by minister of housing and urban affairs headed by hardeep singh puri who is also the minister of petroleum and natural gas in partnership with french development agency kfw which is a german bank european union and national institute of urban affairs all right. The duration of this second edition will be four years, starting from this year to uh, year 2027. The funding, if I talk about the funding, a loan of 1760 crores from AFW, AFD and KFW, 100 uh, million euro each, and technical assistance grant of uh, 0106 crore, which is euro 12 million from the European Union. All right. Now, there are three components of this program. Number one is component one, under which financial and technical support will be provided to the uh, 18 smart cities as of now for development projects focused on building climate resilience, adaptation and mitigation. The component two will focus in providing uh, support to all the states and UTs regarding setting up or strengthening their existing state climate action, uh, state climate centers or climate cells in creating state and city level climate data observatories where uh, the states or the cities can observe the data with respect to the climate and for facilitation of climate data driven planning, developing the climate action plans and building capacities of the local level functionaries. All right. And the component three will be uh, for intervention at all the three levels, center, city and state to further the climate governance in urban India. All right. So this is all about cities 2.0 and let's identify the incorrect statement. All right. It has been conceived by Ministry of Housing and Urban Affairs in partnership with FDA only. No, there are other partners as well. It will be implemented for five year period. No, for four year starting from this year to 2027. Its funding includes a loan of 1760 crores and technical assistance grant of 106 crore from EU. EU correct. It will leverage and scale up the learnings and successes of cities 1.0 which was launched in 2018. So 3 and 4 are incorrect, uh, sorry correct, but we need to identify the incorrect statement which means the correct answer will be option C 1 and 2 only. Question number 7 pe aajate hai. How much area has been covered under micro irrigation from 2015-16 to till date under centrally sponsored scheme of per drop more crop being implemented by Ministry of Agriculture and Farmers Welfare. We have discussed this in the government scheme session that per drop more crop is now implemented separately. It is now not a component of Pradhan Mantri Krishi Sinchai Yojana. Abhi iska component nahi hai. It is being implemented by the ministry as a separate scheme. Right. So how much area has been covered under micro irrigation and this, this scheme 
focus majorly on the micro irrigation to you know in, uh, include to expand the area under the micro irrigation that is the whole objective of this particular scheme okay so it is in news because uh, ministry of agriculture and farmers welfare has organized a national workshop and uh, during that workshop it was uh, declared that an area of 78 lakh hectares has been covered under micro irrigation since the launch of this scheme total date which is about 81% more than the area covered uh, during the pre pdmc in 8 years pdmc is of course per drop more crop all right so that is all about this and the correct answer is 78 lakh hectares option b is the correct answer and ye yahan pe maine aishman pradhan mantri jan arogya yojana ke kuch milestone yahan pe likh diye hain i have not framed a question on it because i don't think ki isme se koi objective ka question aayega but you guys can make use of these data in your descriptive answer wherever you are writing anything about aishman bharat jan arogya yojana or let's say if you are writing anything about success of aishman bharat jan arogya yojana then you can make use of these pointers theek hai so aishman bharat jan arogya yojana achieved a milestone of 5 crore hospital admissions amounting to rupees this much crore 61501 uh pmj impanel hospital network consists of 28351 hospitals including more than 12000 private hospitals during financial year 23 approximately 56% of the total admissions have been authorized in private hospitals and 44% in public hospitals which means private hospitals are also engaging are also implementing this scheme uh, very rigorously approximately 49% of aishman card holders uh, aishman card recipients are women and over 48% of total authorized hospital admissions under this scheme are uh, have been availed by women and over 141 मेडिकल प्रोसीजर्स अंडर आयुष्मान भारत प्रधानमंत्री जन आरोग्य योजना आर एक्सक्लूसिवली इयर मार्क फॉर वुमेन ऑल राइट सो यू कैन मेक यूज ऑफ दिस डेटा इन योर डिस्क्रिप्टिव आंसर ऑल राइट एंड नाउ लेट्स मूव हेड टू द क्वेश्चंस इन शॉर्ट बट बिफोर दैट इफ यू वांट टू हैव द पीडीएफ ऑफ दिस क्लास यू कैन जॉइन द टेलीग्राम चैनल द लिंक इज प्रोवाइडेड इन द डिस्क्रिप्शन एंड या इफ यू वांट टू एक्सेल इफ यू वांट टू एज दिस एग्जामिनेशन दिस ईयर ओनली you can enroll in the crash course which consists of live answer writing practice which consists of 10 mock test of uh, phase 1 and phase 2 both which consists of the personalized mentorship program which is being taken by the experts every saturday and what not question number 8 where all india institute of ayurveda and vishnan bharti have jointly organized gi ysri conference gi stand this stands for global indian young scientists research and innovation This conference was organized in the capital New Delhi. Option E is the correct answer. Question number nine: National Trust for the Welfare of Persons with Autism, Cerebral Palsy, Intellectual Disability, and Multiple Disability recently has organized an autism conclave in New Delhi. This trust is a statutory body under which ministry? Very easy question. This type of orga of organization must be working under the Ministry of Social Justice and Empowerment, headed by Dr. Virendra Kumar. and the last question for today which organization under ministry of social justice and empowerment has introduced modern ai courses for visually impaired student very important question this organization in question is national institute of visually handicapped which is located in dehradun so option b is the correct answer all right guys so that is all for today i hope all the questions and their explanations are clear if you have any doubts you can ask me in the comment section and i will see you in the next class on wednesday goodbye take care and god bless